Now, as you know, I, I keep looking at the energy situation. I see what's going on in Europe. I fear we're going down the, even further down the same path. Of course, we know we've got to look at emissions and look at the climate action, do our bit around the world. Uh, there are signs now, though, that, it, that, that at least uh, some large business organisations are saying, let's get, it, get rid of the prohibitions against nuclear energy. Uh, therefore, uh, just open up, the, open up the legal settings so that if there is a viable economic plan for... Uh, emissions-free nuclear energy, this country could look at it. Well, Chris, we've been pushing this for a while and you know, now it's come out as part of the conversation around the 43% emissions reduction target. And, look, it's very clear to us that you have to keep nuclear on the table and explore it as an option. It'd be crazy not to, quite frankly. Now, there's going to be issues around cost and technological development, but the fact is that the technology around nuclear has fundamentally changed. I was talking with a member today, Dow Chemicals, and they were uh, reinforcing to me that last week they announced they are going to be building a small compact nuclear facility next to one of their plants in the Gulf of Mexico to power it, basically as an, as an emissions reduction measure. That's what they're working to. They're excited about this. This is where industry wants to go. And if we're going to reach those emission reduction targets and more, we've got to keep all options on the table. We can't just be 100% renewable. That's not going to work. Uh, we need other measures as well. And you've got to think too, you know, the fossil uh, fuel facilities, the coal-fired power plants, etc. the way things are going, they're just going to run out of life over the next decade or so. So we need other options. And nuclear, for, each, for reasons around emissions reduction, around reliability, around technolo technological change, all need to be on the table. We're going down the path of nuclear submarines. To do that, we need a nuclear industry capacity to back that up, whether we, or whether you like it or not. Uh, and you know, we really shouldn't may have it illegal to have anything to do with nuclear in Australia, which is pretty much the way it is now. Yeah, it uh, makes so much sense. It also means we can uh, use some of the land that's uh, been uh, is now uh, wasted uh, because of coal extraction and coal-fired power stations. Less transmission needs to be put in place. There's so many reasons to look at this. Uh, I'm pleased that it's getting ahead of steam. Thanks for joining us, Innes. Thanks, mate. Good luck with the showdown. Yes, indeed. Innes Willox will be at the MCG, no doubt, barracking for his beloved magpies on Sunday. Saturday night, it's the showdown. Crows versus Port. No-one's making the finals, but it'll still be like a grand final.